Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas, and today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how you can build your own iOS mobile app in under 10 minutes without writing a single line of code. And we're going to be using a tool called Vibe Code. So I really like this tool. I really like the people behind this tool, especially one of the co-founders. He's one of my favorite YouTubers, Riley Brown, and he's been doing a bunch of interesting content regarding this, this topic of AI and iOS app development. And to be honest, there are so many vibe coding tools out there that help you build the websites, help you design websites, help you build apps. But I always tend to use the tools that were built by interesting people behind it. I tend to look at the teams behind these tools. So that's why I like to use, for example, Magic Path or Framer or Vibe Code. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive deep into this and start building out an iOS mobile app. But before we go into it, I'd love to invite you guys to my Discord community. We are a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers from all around the world. We get together every single weekday to basically chat about different topics, different challenges happening in our lives. We can share different things that we're working on. We have different types of webinars. So if you guys are interested in that, please feel free to join down. The link is down in the description below. Now, I don't know about you, but I take a lot of pictures with my phone. I've traveled to different places. I take screenshots. I, you know, send memes to my friends. And to be honest, I have a lot of pictures in my phone storage that I don't really need. And it's going to be very annoying for me to actually go into my photo gallery and, you know, start from the first one and see if I want it, click on delete and keep on going, or maybe bulk delete some. It's going to take a lot of work and maybe it should take a lot of work, but it's kind of boring. But what if we can create some type of app where it can see all of our images and then it presents you the image and you can swipe left if you want to delete it or swipe right if you want to keep it. And it won't give you the images in an orderly fashion, meaning from, from recent to oldest, it'll give you kind of like random images so that it's more of a surprise. So the first thing that we can do is we can ask ChatGPT to help us with the prompt. So I wanna build out an app called Photo Sweep. Core features would be like request photo library permissions, swipe view left or right, uh, smart buckets to duplicate blurry screenshots, large files, videos. So we have like different categorization for this. Trash bin tab, bottom tab bar. And then we have smooth state updates after actions. And then we have a clean iOS look, system font, haptics on swipe and trash. Perfect. I really like this. So let's go ahead and submit this. And ChatGPT is going to basically give us a more detailed response for each feature that we asked it for. And this can be something that will come in handy afterwards once we want to start adding new features. This can help us with, with brainstorming, I guess. But in this case, I'm just going to paste that initial prompt that we that we sent to ChatGPT, put it over here. And now let's choose Claude Sun at 4.5 and we're going to start building out our project. All right, and our app is done. But before we check out the actual front end of our app, I want to show you the different tasks that the AI basically went through in order to create our app. So as you can see, set up photo library permissions, create Sushtan store for app state management, swipe screen with card gestures and haptics, implement smart bucket categorization logic, and create the bucket screen with the trash screen and the bottom navigation. And at the end, we get you know an overall overview of what it has built. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my phone and scan this QR code. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and scan the QR code just like this, open it in Chrome. And what we're going to do is we're going to click here and then we can open the app over here. And then it's asking us, it's asking us for our full access for the photo. So I'm going to go ahead and allow full access. And so the first picture is of a menu from a restaurant that I took. I think during the weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And the next picture is of a screenshot that I took. So I'm just going to keep this. And the next one is of me and a very cute dog. So I'm going to keep this one as well. But you basically get the point, right? So you can swipe left or right to keep it or to trash the image. And we can go into buckets. And in buckets, we have duplicates. So as you can see, I have 879 duplicates, zero blurry images because I take very good pictures, I guess. We have so, uh, almost a thousand screenshots and a lot of large files. And we can see the trash. These are basically images that I just um, threw away or emptied. So I'm going to go ahead and empty trash, delete forever. And it's saying, you know, allow this app to delete three photos. 
So I, it, it, if I click on delete, it's actually going to delete it from my device. So that's kind of like the benefits of building out an iOS app that it actually connects to your mobile device. So that's very cool. It worked out really well. Now, what's great is that we can continue adding new types of features, new types of designs. I saw that the design is a little bit simple, so we can maybe add like a custom branding if you wanted to. And I'd also like for there to be some type of progress bar that represents the amount of images in my image gallery and that once you swipe, swipe left, it goes a little bit lower, something like that. So I think it's always best to go step by step. And if we wanna do that styling change and we wanna add that new feature, it's best to start with something first. So we can start off with the new feature. So I'm gonna just say, I want there to be a progress bar in my homepage that represents the amount of images in my image gallery. And once I swipe left, the value decreases. So we can go ahead and submit that. And while we wait for that, we can also look at Mobbin and look at different other types of apps that are similar. So for example, Tinder is like the most popular one that has a swipe feature, right? So we can go ahead and look at all of the different Tinder screens over here. I see that we have like this, this screen that might be actually useful for us. So we have this like plus button and X button. Maybe we can use that for one of our galleries. What I actually like about Tinder is that they have like the, obviously the name and like the interests of the person. But what we can do is we can maybe instead of adding a name, we can add like, you know, certain facts about this image, maybe where it was taken. I don't know if that's possible, but where it was taken or when it was taken. Maybe we can add the category if it's a screenshot or if it's like a a blurred image or something like that. All right, so now the progress bar has been added successfully. So let's go ahead and check that out. So again, just going to take a picture of this and we're going to open it inside of Vibe Code. And as you can see at the very top, there's like a little progress bar over here at the top. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's above the image, right? There's like a little line at the very top up here. Kind of looks like it starts from empty to full. I want it to start from full to empty. All right, and now this is looking good. So as you can see, the line is blue at the top and it's starting from full to empty. I actually would like the line to go right on top of the nav bar. So we can do that as a next step. And I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna show it in the video. You guys kind of understand the deal, but that's basically how, how you do it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save this image, download the screen, and then we're gonna go back into Vibe Code, and I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this image inside of here. All right, so now, that, now we can see the different categories. We have four days ago, we have screenshots, um, we have the progress bar on the bottom. Awesome. So that's what I'm talking about. So one week ago, screenshots, we have the left and right. Now it's like a good, you know, uh, sizing. We could adjust certain things. We could reduce the size, the, the, the gap even more. But I think this is good for now. And the other pages are working nicely as well. We have the buckets and we have the trash page here as well. And as simple as that, we created an app like in what, 10 minutes? And the final process here would be to actually bring this into the app store, right? You would want to not only have this as, as a test app, you'd also want to eventually like monetize this app or have a portfolio of different apps of your own. So what you can do is you can click on the app store button up here. And here we have four different steps as to how to continue. So we have the bundle identifier. We have the app name, photo sweep. I love it. Version number 1.00. We can choose to support iPad if we wanted to, and we can generate or upload an icon. So I want to actually generate one. So we're gonna generate with AI, and that's a, a feature that they have here, native to Vibe Code. And we can say, you know, like a Tinder app for deleting images. And boom, we get our Tinder app. <laughs> so we have the fire and we have the garbage can, which looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna use this icon, and then we're gonna continue to build setup and click on yes, continue. And guys, if you want to keep on like correcting your app, keep on adding new features, keep on, you know, designing new things, doing a redesign, you can do it all in here and you can just keep on redeploying it to the app store right over here. And over here, you have to basically add your access token. You have to agree that you've paid for the Apple development program, which is $99 a year. And you have to add your Apple team ID. And then once you're done, you can start the build process. And then basically Vibe Code is going to build that app for you and eventually have that ready for the App Store. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it from my side. You saw how easy it was to build out an iOS app using this tool called Vibe Code app. And I actually love the whole experience. Like in one shot, we got a really cool app that was connected to our photos, understood exactly what we wanted, and it actually really worked. After this video, I'm actually going to go ahead and use it to delete a lot of a bunch of unwanted photos in my in my phone but I just wanted to share this with you guys because 
I just think that this is insane how how fast you can do this and how good quality it gives you the apps. And if you're interested in these types of topics, you can go ahead and start you know dabbling into this and eventually start creating your own portfolio of apps. And yeah, guys, hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Goodbye.